uh, suggests that they would be willing, if there was a need for more prison places, if more people are actually going through the court system, uh, then they might actually have to look at it. But Boris Johnson was also obviously conscious of the fact that he's tried, he's prompted quite a row uh, there, posturing with the way that one government uh, thought to put it uh, to me. And when he spoke on the way out of the COVID meeting, he was a lot more circumspect than he had been earlier in the morning. In London, what we've been able to do by moving the money around in the reserves is be able to increase the number of police types out on the street. And I think that's very, very important. We need to, we need to give people uh, reassurance, not just that numbers are up, uh, but also that the police aren't doing their job in a robust way in the way that they, that they signed up to. And that's, uh, that's what uh, I think we've accomplished last night. That's what we'll continue to, uh, to drive ahead with. Uh, thanks to Joey Jones in Downing Street. Let's uh, go to New Scotland Yard. Uh, Martin, run there. Uh, Martin, relatively calm in uh, London last night, but uh, thousands of police officers on the streets, of course. But uh, major focus of trouble in Manchester. And the Prime Minister talking about the possibility of water cannons. Yes, I mean, I think generally police will be encouraged at that uh, very strong support they got from the Prime Minister's words, mm -hmm. the fact that Hello. whatever they want, they'll get uh, with the legal backup should they need it. Um, but water cannons are uh, an interesting issue. Not every chief constable or senior officer is a great fan of water cannon. They're very blunt instruments. Um, we've never seen them used on the uh, British mainland. They've been a feature of uh, operations against demonstrators in Northern Ireland, of course.